Hey guys, what's going on? Lever2000 here, bringing you a brand new series, uh, Prison Architect. Um, we're going to try it out, see uh, how far along we can get um, with it. I have played it before, um, so I am fairly familiar with it. I uh, haven't played it uh, in a little while though, so I think there's been some updates. Uh, there'll be a little uh, little bit of getting used to um, the new uh, new additions to it, but um, shouldn't be too bad for you. Those of you that don't know Prison Architect is basically what the title says. It's a uh, game about building a prison um, and um, housing uh, all the inmates, keeping them happy, preventing riots. Um, yeah, basically running a prison. So um, that's what we're going to do. So uh, let's get started. We're going to uh, create a new prison. Um, we're going to do a large world. We're going to keep Fog of War on, so um, basically uh, you have to have either a camera or a guard in a specific area to be able to see what's going on in that area. Um, continuous intake we're going to keep off. Um, I want to control how many um, inmates we're taking because otherwise they just come non-stop. Uh, I don't want any forests or lakes. We don't need any buildings. We're going to build it all ourselves. Uh, failure condition, sure, and no, uh, we don't need unlimited funds. All right, so massive, uh, massive starting area. I like it. So let's come down here, um, and let's start off by. Uh, you'll have to just give me a sec to get used to uh, to all the materials and and whatnot. Um, it takes me a, a little while to get used to it, but uh, hopefully I can get in the groove pretty quick. So I don't have anything specific planned uh, for a layout, but um, we're going to start with this. Um, and I'm going to put up a perimeter wall. Um, actually, see the biggest part about this game for sure is uh, planning out what you're going to do. Um, otherwise... Um, Things can get pretty messy. Um, so let's take a look at all, all of our objects. Um, and I want a gate. I want a road gate. Um, so we are going to lock everyone in here. So make sure that's even. Okay, perfect. So we're going to put a road gate right there. And then we are going to make a wall around it. And I'm going to make a one of the perimeter walls um, just on the outside here because I, I don't know I just think it looks a lot better so um, basically this is going to be the uh, entrance to our prison so we're going to have this little like uh, loop of a, a roadway here uh, <coughs> excuse me we're going to have a little loop of a roadway here and then the actual um, entrance to the prison is just going to be um, inside that um, right here right in this area here. Um, so first thing I like to do, I like to have um, some offices near the front, so let's um, plan that out. Um, and we can speed up these guys um, just a little bit. Or actually, let's just plan it out. So pathway is going to be right here, right here, right here. So, basically, what I'm laying down here is just um, it's just like an overlay. It just shows me where um, things are going to be. Um, but uh, at any point, I can just delete this, and uh, and then uh, we don't have to see it anymore. Basically, now that gate's pretty big. Um, I think it might be actually one more uh, in width. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, like we can see our gate, and then we can see our, our overlay that we made. Um, but then when we go back to this, it just disappears. So this is going to be our main gate. Um, and then um, we're going to extend a pathway down the middle of the prison. It's pretty large, but um, actually, well, we can just kind of uh, shorten it up. And the gate can just uh, hang over the edge a little bit, but that's fine. Um, it'll still look good. Um, so what we're going to do, oops, sorry, what we're going to do is go just inside here. Oh, those construction sounds are killing me. All right, we're going to have to let them finish. Won't take them too long to, to, uh, get
get this um, front gate up. But then basically we're going to pause the game. We're going to plan everything out um, that we want to do. Um, and then we're going to kind of try to throw it together all at once. Um, because uh, if not, um, if we don't do it all at once, um, then we start intaking prisoners and we don't have all the the uh, facilities we need um, to properly house them like we're gonna need cells we're gonna need a kitchen we're gonna need a yard we need all kinds of things right so um, I like to get um, everything planned out and then um, set it up all at once and get everything built so um, when we get to uh, tomorrow morning when the prisoners arrive we have all the facilities we need to house them so that's my thought process on that one um, I think we're done building here so okay we can pause this and we're just gonna right click this we're gonna drag it over like that um, and there we go so we have our front area built um, now I know that looks kind of bad um, with the deliveries and the garbage so uh, another thing we're gonna do is just take some paving stone and we're gonna get them to fill that in um, and then uh, it'll look much better uh, trust me on that one okay so now let's get to the planning stage we are going to go right here and we're gonna build something like this for an office now offices need to be a certain size and we can check that in the rooms tab so if we find the office here Office is going to be 4x4. Four four. Okay, so we have to make sure all the rooms in here are 4x4. Four four. So um, that's why planning helps so much. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then this would be... That would be a 4x4 four four room, correct? Yeah. So not accounting for the walls, we got 4x4. Four four. So that's the size we need. Um, let's do 3. And then, hmm. um, I can't recall exactly how many offices we're going to need. So if we do four there, I guess we could just continue on. Um, we're going to want to use this area. It's kind of tough to plan these things when it's like this. Okay, I got an idea. This is what we're going to do. We're going to put a wall here. We're going to put a wall here. And we're going to open this up in the middle. And then basically we're just going to slide everything over one. So we will have that opening in the center that we can um, use to get between the buildings. And we'll have that right up against the wall. It's not a big deal. Okay, so there we go. So basically we'll have... Um, our pathway here and then we can just go like this and make some more offices uh, just like that and bam and I guess we can close this off so basically there'll be uh, a door here a door here and then we can get down here um, going that way and we'll just put our doors like so And there we go. So that'll be our uh, office area to start. One, two, three, four. Okay, good. I thought I might have gone too big there, but we're all right. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I think everything looks pretty uniform there. So basically we've done our layout. Um, so now we are going to um, actually build um, it. And I think I've never made a concrete prison so I just want to see yeah they're the same price so let's build this out of concrete and just see how it looks oops okay we can delete that there we go okay so we built this um, this foundation isn't gonna put up these um, walls that I made in the center so we'll have to do that ourselves but that's like I said that's what the uh, the planning stage is for so we'll still be able to see that um, once this building is built and then the other thing we need to do is put in doors so we're going to put some, because this is going to be offices, we're going to put in some staff doors on either side. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to put a door in on that side too. Okay, so that'll be our office. Um, now, the other thing we're going to need right off the bat 
is a room for our power um, and uh, storage. Um, so I like to make a pretty big room there and I'm actually going to uh, try to make it the same size as this one. So what size is this one? 13 by 23. Okay. So we'll go from here and we'll go 13 by 23. Okay. So um, we can make a pretty decent sized storage uh, area um, on one side and then the other side will be a, uh, a sorry the other side will be a um, area for our power uh, and our water pump which we need to uh, power the entire prison and run all the plumbing um, to the cells for toilets and the kitchen uh, laundry room stuff like that so uh, that will be our next step. So let's take a look here. Again, this is going to be staff um, rooms. So, whoa, little lag there. Okay, so we're gonna do that, fill that in. We're gonna chuck uh, staff doors. And I said we were going to put walls in the center, so we will put some doors um, there too. Uh, yep, that'll work. Um, and I'm also going to put doors on the outside here, like that. Um, and then we'll just go back to planning really quickly. Um, if our door's going to go in the middle, uh, how big is our... A power station so basically we want to leave room because we're going to need to attach some capacity uh, yeah okay yeah sorry I'm, I'm trying to plan this in my head and tell you guys what I'm thinking so we're going to need to um, attach some capacitators um, around the outside of this so we're going to actually move the door over one just so it's not in the way Okay. Then. Oh no. Okay. So that's going to go there. And we're all set on that. And then we just have to redo the foundation. Okay. Perfect. So let's let our builders go to work on this. Because uh, this is a, a little bit of work here for them. And then once that's once these are done, then we're going to have to throw down our power uh, generator and uh, our water pump. And then we're going to have to run them over to the offices and then uh, in turn uh, any new buildings we build. So I think they're done with that first one. Um, if they are, it should uh, momentarily um, turn into uh, just a regular building. They won't show those beams or anything anymore. There might be a couple more uh, pieces that they need to install. They're just waiting. Oh yeah, they're just waiting on some of the trucks here. So they're just going to throw this all together. We're playing on triple speed just to speed up the building. Uh, they should be done right now. And bam, there we go. So we got two buildings. All right, so now we can pause again. Okay, so like I said, we don't have any of the inside parts of the building. Oh, and that didn't... Okay, that wall didn't attach. That's okay. So, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to take concrete wall and we're going to put it along here because I don't need any larger than normal offices. Um, and then we're just going to fill in the rest of these inside walls. So we're just going to go along here like this. There we go. Perfect. We'll chuck some doors on here. And I'm going to put staff doors on everything because um, there's a lot of contraband that can be um, stolen out of the offices. So putting staff doors uh, reduces the risk that um, the, uh, the convicts are going to be able to get into these rooms um, and steal things. Like they can get like cell phones, alcohol, um, stuff like that from these rooms. So um, it's not uh, something that uh, 
we want them to have access to. Um, and then we're just going to check a few more doors on in the center here. Okay, and we can take this off, take this off, and then we're just going to have to install a little bit more for walls. And then I'll chuck our power station down once that's done. Okay, so let's let them build that. Already 2 p.m., so they're going to have a, a lot to build tonight. Um, that's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, we're going to have to run some, um, some power uh, right away here. As you can see, that everything's without power right now because we have no power station. So uh, let's hook this up. Okay, so we made plenty of space for this. So we're gonna plop that down, and then um, once that down, once that's down, we can run some wiring. And then the other thing we're gonna do is chuck our water pump down, which uh, we don't. Nothing right now requires water, but it will uh, shortly. So get that done so you see once this power um, starts up we got a little power here to um, to this building and we're just gonna hook up the power pump because it needs water okay and then we are going to run a cable over here and we are going to run a cable uh, straight down here and then straight over like that and we'll go back to our regular view and uh, we should start to uh, to see power um, in the offices once we run that cable far enough over so once the cable gets in a, within a certain distance of lights that are in the prison then um, it just automatically um, attaches to them so we don't have to have like uh, one of these massive cables uh, running directly to every light in the prison um, which is a good thing and uh, I'm just noticing here that our power you can see this um, this little red scale that's how much power we're using how close we're getting to max capacity so that's where these uh, uh, capacitors come into effect so if we place some of those attached to the actual um, power station we'll see once they're installed that they're going to um, help um, the power level they're gonna bring it way down okay so um, basically whenever we start to use uh, too much power then we install another one of those and it'll, uh, it'll bring it way down okay so there's some new features here that I haven't seen before which is um, pretty cool looks like we can control doors remotely which is uh, pretty nice Get some timers. Logic bridge. All right, so I'm gonna have to uh, investigate that stuff. That's pretty cool. But um, for now, we have um, our offices started. We'll have to put some furniture in them um, next, and um, we have our uh, power and storage room. So I'll just real quickly before we wrap things up, um, I'll show you. Um, we have to designate um, everything the prison so it knows uh, what we're doing in every room so um, we'll uh, make these offices and you can see that there there's a there's a little alert because it says for this to be an office we're gonna need to add a desk a chair and a filing cabinet so that'll be our, our next goal and then this is the delivery area so once things are delivered um, the uh, the crew likes to have a place to store them so uh, that's why I left this massive um, area over here and we're gonna make that our storage room um, so let's designate this as storage so this entire thing is storage so um, what basically what happens now is that all our um, extra materials are gonna get stored um, into the storage room you can see they're all dragging them over there um, so they'll either keep them in deliveries or they'll bring them to storage if they're laying around the prison because we don't need a pile of bricks um, sitting next to a prisoner's cells right so um, 
we'll uh, we'll wrap things up here. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. It's a little slow start because we don't have any prisoners, but hey, you got to build a prison before you can put people in it. So um, this is the start. Um, next, we're going to work on kitchen, uh, canteen, which is where they eat their food, uh, a yard for them to uh, exercise in, some showers, uh, and some cells to keep them in, and then we'll be ready to uh, accept our first batch of prisoners. Uh, hopefully they're not uh, too uh, dangerous. I don't know if we want to accept the uh, high-risk prisoners, the low-risk, or the medium. Um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see uh, how, how our prison is looking before we decide that. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, uh, definitely leave me a like and um, some comments. Let me know uh, what you want to see in future episodes. And um, feel free to subscribe. It lets me know that uh, you're definitely enjoying my videos and you want to see more. Thanks again, guys, and uh, we'll see you very soon.